welcome back. It feels so good to have you here with me right now, presently, in this moment. As you can see, we're currently vibing in my backyard, my garden space. So if you hear any chickens, it's because they're over on the right, my babies. And if you see two puppies running around, it's because they are here as well, as well as birds and butterflies and bees and cars passing. That's just a part of life. This week, you guys, is going to be filled with some massive, massive change. And as I'm saying that, the first cards that have already jumped out are the Judgment card and the Seven of Swords reversed. This week is going to be full of massive change. So we had Saturn and Pluto, both of those planets have been retrograde. They have been doing the absolute most when it comes to re-establishing our foundations, the bones of our lives. This is set in place in order to usher in massive transformation in ways that we may not always be comfortable with. And the universe requires us to be flexible and very open-minded with it, um, as well as, you know, keeping our hearts open and allowing ourselves to be patient with the events that trigger external and internal change. What does this mean? This means that the planets can sense when things aren't working in our lives, not just now, but for our future. It can sense when there is a foundation that is weak or fragile and needs to be destroyed or needs to be restructured in some way, shape or form. And Saturn and Pluto are both of those planets that work together and have been working together in order to make sure that your grounding, what you ground yourself in is firm and can support the weight of all of your purpose and all the things that the universe, that spirit, the divine, your higher self wants to make sure that you, you know, you manifest and that you materialize in your, in your life. Um, so having said that, you know, when these planets are retrograde, which they have been for, I don't want to say the entire year, but for a, a large chunk of this year, when these planets are retrograde, we are told and guided to, the word that just came through is capsize. There's aspects of our lives and aspects within ourselves that starts to capsize, right? Because they just are not meant to make it for the long haul. And it tests our faith, it tests our patience, it tests our self-love, it te tests our belief in the, the, um, the idea that, you know, things are conspiring in our favor. Um, this is not only happening in our intimate and in our personal lives, but we see it in our government. We see it in the world around us, the news. These are events around us that, you know, even though this is our normal and for however long it's been, it's... The universe says, if this is your normal, we don't accept that. We don't allow that. We understand that you have accepted this as your status quo, as your day-to-day -day life or your reality, but we see something far greater and better for not just you, but all of humanity. So those things get tested and those things get broken down. So this week, you guys, not only are we having the Libra New Moon, which I'm going to talk about that in a separate video, but on the 8th, we have um, the 8th and the 10th. This is, I'm sorry, the 6th and the 10th. This is when Pluto, the planet of regeneration, rebirth, power, control, manipulation, will then finally turn direct, which I'll talk about that in a minute. And then also on the 10th, Saturn, which rules our structure, it rules our commitments, it rules um, our ability to like establish ourselves or establish businesses or establish relationships that also is going to move direct in the sign of Aquarius okay so one thing that I want to talk to you guys about before I even dive into the details of the retrogrades is we are starting this week in a space where there is a strong chance to be emotionally and mentally triggered now what I mean by that is with Sun, us uh, currently transiting Libra, Sun represents our ego, our identity, our life source energy. She's, he is directly opposing Chiron, the, the wounded healer. And what happens here, and this is also retrograde guys. So let me pull in, pulling up the chart, Chiron is still sitting in the sign of Aries right now. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but I've been like a broken record just saying, you know, keep your eyes on Chiron retrograde in the side of Aries because this is questioning 
and calling you into question your self-worth, your confidence, your ability to be a warrior, your ability to advocate for yourself and also to advocate for other people. And with that, you have to kind of step out and branch out into your own, on your own terms and to be more selfish. Sometimes we have a tendency to look at what others are doing or check in with whatever we're, we feel comfortable with or whatever we're dependent on. This could be a person, it could be something toxic, maybe like a, a, a way that we work, a way, a way that a, a security blanket, something that we feel that we need in order to feel secure. As Chiron is retrograde in the sign of Aries, as this is happening, this is calling into question all of those things within yourself that says, do you really need this? Do you really need this to feel safe? Do you really need this to feel significant? Do you really need this to feel worthy? And if you truly believe this, we are going to set a lot of things into motion, set them into place in order to restructure, rebuild that fallacy, this false belief that you've been holding on because if you have a greater purpose and if we want you to be healthy and whole throughout the remainder of your life, we can't have you believing that this is what makes you self this is what makes you worthy or this is what makes you valuable. It's what's within. And Aries is so good at saying, I am. It's so good at defining itself. It's so good at knowing, um, you know, even though it's fearful, it, can, it still shows up and is courageous. Mm -hmm. It still shows up and has belief and says, you know what? I got to do this for me because I feel so called to that. And as I'm talking, you guys, there's a big old bumblebee that's showing up, which I love. The bumblebee is my animal totem. So I... I receive that blessing for both of us <laughs> if you're watching this now so so we are starting this week off and this week starts off with the, the fourth but we are starting this week off with the sun representing our ego directly opposing chiron and what does this mean this means that there are going to be aspects triggers things that happen in your environment that are going to call into question your own beliefs your own internal beliefs about yourself um, also, there's this level of impatience that's coming through that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Spirit is really calling you to be very mindful and aware and ca cautious, ca conscious of your reactions to things, right? So what does this mean? That means that how we react to things, our first thought, our first um, reaction, if something happens, it, maybe we'll, we'll lock ourselves up and say, okay, no, I'm done. And then you escape or you run or you just totally call everything off or maybe you get impulsive or maybe you get angry. Those are some reactions that spirit this week and definitely that we saw in the, the weekend that we we're just walking out of and the week before that. Those are some reactions that spirit wants you to address. This says that this has been your normal. It's normal for you to react when this happens, but just because it's normal doesn't mean that it's okay. And we want to see you do differently. We want you to heal this pain. There's a reason why you're reacting from this space. There's a reason why this is your first initial thought. There's a reason why you go into the warrior energy. There's a reason why you shut everything off or push everyone out or run or whatever the case is. For everyone it's different. But spirit is calling you in order to address, to see, to heal that wounded space, that, that place of pain, suffering, um, and, and call it in and, and bring it into a space of completion. When you're doing this, you guys, you're going to need so much patience with yourself. You're going to need so much patience with yourself because I can already see that there are going to be a multitude of triggers. Not only am I looking at the chart and I'm seeing there's a lot of air energy going on here. I'm going to move my MacBook. On this side there is a lot of air energy going on here there's a lot of fire so what this tells me is that we are really quick we're really impulsive in order to react in order to protect in order to armor up um, that's very Aries type of energy even as the Sun is moving through the sign of Libra and as we have mercury retrograde and Mars moving through the sign of Libra the reason I feel that you are getting so triggered and so propelled is because there's things that have you have harmonized with or people that you've already built bonds with and you can feel very protective of them. That can trigger you when you don't see them doing the right thing or you see them getting triggered by certain events. You can really go in and armor up or there's things that you have aligned with that it's so disappointment, it's so disappointing, it's so frustrating when you see it doesn't work out. So watch how you react to that. And this is not just now, you guys. There's this really hyper, 
vigilant message, this really strong message about recounting and recapping, especially this weekend and the, and the month before, what has already happened, not in a way to be punishing towards yourself or critical in any way, but to minimal, minimally to acknowledge it, to acknowledge it, to be aware of it. And with that, you are giving yourself so much power to redefine how you move now and also moving forward. I love that for us, okay? With Pluto moving direct, you guys, Pluto again is the planet of manipulation. It's the, the planet of control. And as, as, as crazy as that sounds, you know, sometimes people, they look at that and they're just like, I don't wanna manipulate anyone. I don't wanna ma manipulate anything. I'm a high vibe person. I'm a spiritual being. It's not my intention in order to manipulate, to control anyone. But what this is teaching you, what Pluto is teaching you, is that it's not about, it's all about your intention. What is your intention and what you are trying to create for yourself? If your intention is good, if your intention is pure, then honor that and realize that you do have power in order to change the circumstances around you, in order to change an outcome, just based upon how you react to it and how you're perceiving it. The first step is at least being aware of that. The first step is definitely awareness, okay? So now that Pluto is moving direct on the 6th, it's gonna start moving again forward in the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn energy has been taking a massive beating. My love, I send you guys all of my love, to especially my Capricorn people, my Cancer people, Earth signs in general. You guys have really been taking a beating lately just with this whole Pluto, um, Pluto transits, Capric um, Saturn transits it moving retrograde, then moving direct. It can be energetically draining. You need to take additional time for rest. You need to take additional time for compassion and 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 um, restoration, making sure that you are being nurtured, making sure that you're asking for help, being open to receiving that, being um, supported, loved, held, all those things. You don't wanna constantly be on the battleground and the battlefield taking these hits, okay? Just because you're strong and just because you're capable and just because you've done it doesn't mean that you need to continue to carry on in this way, okay? And that's something here that is, and I'm seeing also with the judgment card and uh, seven of swords retrograde, you're not meant to shoulder the burden, like carry the burden and, you know, always, I don't say always do the right thing, but self-sacrifice, you know what I mean? Um, there's this level of awareness, there's a level of truth, there's this level of transparency, recognition for what you've already, yeah, ten of, cup, 10 of cups for your own highest and greatest good, for your own happiness, for your own joy, for your own health. Not only physical health, but mental, emotional, and spiritual health. All of those things need to be in alignment. So there have been a lot of revelations, my loves, every single one of us, there have been a lot of revelations for all of us during this Pluto and Saturn retrograde phase. These are things that we that push us these are things that push us outside of our control, things that we can't control, things that disappoint us, things things that defeat us, things that frustrate us, things that have been addicting to us, things um, toxic bonds or just bonds in that in general that we need to free ourselves from, relinqu like be relinquished from, be free from. So all of those things, meanwhile, your, your ground as you know it, maybe your career, your family life, your relationships, your, your money, all of those things, your home life, those are things that could be crumbling beneath you, your friendship circle, all of those things could be crumbling underneath you depending on your personal transits, okay? While this is also going on, my loves, you really want to find strength in numbers um, be open to harmonizing with a soul tribe a soul community your f like families um, family and friends friends that feel like family or at least being open to connecting with the idea of that with Venus moving into the sign of Sagittarius on the 7th she is going to you you but she is going to be very attracted to the idea of play with exploration curiosity seeing what else is out there doing new things, new adventures, trying new stuff with people around you that are just as much ambitious and inquisitive as you are. You want to embrace those sides within yourself as well. 
There's going to be on the 8th and the 9th, we have Sun conjunct Mars sitting in the sign of Libra. Again, this is going to give you so much power in what you harmonize with, your ability to play, being very mindful and aware of what it is that you're attracted to, allowing yourself to explore that without judgment. Those are things that are height, heightened, you guys. What are you saying? Who are you connecting with? Exchanging those ideas. You don't want to do this alone, you guys. You want to branch out and find new groups, find new people. Um, and with those people that is that you're finding, you want to explore their interests, explore your interests, do new book clubs, do new activities, foster new exciting um, ideas and prophecies. There's a bee that just landed on me and a text messages are coming through. As I'm saying that, I have a friend that's literally her text message is like, yo, I'm trying to come back. <laughs> you know, this is the type of energy. It's like be open to new, not, not, if it's not new friendships and new connections, then it's infusing new energy and new life into the connections that you've already founded for yourself in a way that makes you feel empowered, creative, invincible, inspired, all of that. This is also another amazing week when it comes to love and connections. There is a really strong, um, I want to say karmic, karmic um, bond here, karmic energies that are being triggered, especially with this vertex point. The vertex point is the point of fate and encounters sitting in the sign of cancer. Cancer is what is going to nurture us and nourish us and protect us. It's where we're going to feel home. And with Pluto sitting directly opposite the vertex point and Pluto retrograde, this is going to open up naturally. And this is all this week, you guys. Don't just pin it on one day. Just be out. Follow your intuition. But this can really open the door for soulmate connections, high vibe connections, things that go on such a deep soul level. And I want that for you. All right, my loves? So be open to what's happening here. Realize that it is for your highest and greatest good. I understand this video was pretty quick. Hopefully you can hear me um, clear with all the noise that's going around in my background, but it is a vibe, you guys. I, there's no way that I could work inside the house today. I'm working from home, but I couldn't work inside the home if that makes any sense. Please let me know down in the comments how you're feeling, how this resonates. Make sure that you are including your sun, your moon, and your rising. And if you don't know your sun and your moon, please just give me your rising sign or your sun sign. That's everything that I would need. Okay? Because you guys know I'm always continuing my research and I want to hear your own experiences. Until then, I'm sending you guys all my love. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.